Ramiz says, can we take oath on Quran, whether by keeping our hands on it or simply by words? First of all, we cannot swear, we cannot take an oath except by one of Allah's names or attributes, by Allah, by uh, uh, Ar-Rahman, and by, in Arabic is wa. So you say, Wallahi, Wallatif al-Khabir, Wal-Aziz al-Rahim. All of these uh, uh, are okay. And the Quran is the speech of Allah, which is one of his attributes, and hence it is permissible to swear and to take an oath by saying, Well, Quran, I didn't do this. Because this is like saying, Wa kalam Allah, by the speech of Allah. So this is totally permissible. The issue is placing your hand on the actual Quran. Is this permissible or not? Difference of opinion among scholars. Some say that if the Muslim ruler, be it the judge or someone else, who's in charge of solving disputes between people, and he asks one of the defendants, one of the clients, one of those coming to his court over a dispute, he asks him to place his hand on the Mus'haf so that he emphasizes the importance and the gravity and the seriousness of the situation, some scholars say that this is permissible. Why? Because the origin of this goes back to the times of the companions. May Allah be pleased with them. For example, Uthman ibn Affan used to ask individuals, not only that, he used to ask Companions who came when there was a dispute between one another and he wanted one of them to swear that he did not take the money, for example. He would say, go to the mimbar, to the pulpit of the Prophet والسلام, and swear there. Because swearing here is different than swearing next to the pulpit of the Prophet Swearing here that I didn't take the money is different when I swear next to the black stone, Hajar Aswad, or Maqam Ibrahim, or the Multazam of Kaaba. Whoa, this is a very serious thing. Maybe I'd have second thoughts if I were to lie that, yeah, I can lie here, but there Allah Azza wa would definitely uh, uh, annihilate me. So this has an origin, whether that some places are glorified more or sometimes are sought after, such as swearing after Asr prayer, as mentioned in the Quran and some hadiths as well. So those scholars who say that placing your hand on the Quran and swearing is permissible when the Imam when the Muslim ruler, when the judge deems it uh, obligatory to emphasize that you're not lying. Other scholars say, no, this is not right. There was a copy of the Quran at the time of Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, Ali, and all the great companions of the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with them, and the Tabi'een, and never ever We've seen anyone asking a defendant to place his hand over the Mus'haf. Actually, this may count as an insult to the Qur'an when it is used for such purposes like this, rather than being recited, uh, um, read, and acted upon. So, the most authentic opinion is that this is an innovation. This is what the Christians may do when they ask you to place your hand on the Bible. 
but the Muslims should not imitate this or do this because it is not part of our religion and Allah Azza wa knows best.